What's up guys? So just got another video for you today. Just going to be talking about the updates that came out last night. Nothing crazy, just some bug fixes and uh, some changes to the staff, which we'll go over in a second. And then I also want to talk about what we're doing this weekend. Uh, so for the third year anniversary event that didn't end up happening, um, I think a dark did do an event, but it wasn't like the original plan or anything like that. Um, we were going to do a double drops day or luck of the chow day. Um, so basically there's this ring called Luck of the Chows and it's the best luck ring in the game. It's only obtainable from Sierra's Charms. And what it does is, other than being one of the best luck boosts in the game, which I think it's only this... It's, I can't remember if I made it like that much better than Luck of the Pugs or if it's the same. Um, but the main thing that this thing has for it is whenever you're wearing it, you have a 1 in 69 chance of your rare drop being doubled. So it's essentially a chance at double drops. And uh, what, what I'm going to do is turn that effect on for everybody the entire day. Um, so it should be a pretty big day. I'm going to be live streaming the entire thing, um, pretty much. Like, I'm going to start early in the morning, and I'll, I'll be streaming all throughout the day. And we'll uh, we'll do some Vasa Mass. I'll probably work on some of my videos. I've been working on, like, the Hydro one, which um, it's it's like it's like 70% done. <laughs> um, and the Ashes one is done. I just thought you'll probably see that soon. Um, but it should be fun. We should, uh, we should get a lot of drops. And that's going to be on the... Uh, fifth, the fifth of uh, Saturday, the fifth. So it's gonna be one day, one day only. It's gonna start um, early my time. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to get on really early so that way, like, um, uh, like that, like, like I, I might make it the weekend. We'll see. We'll see what people, what, what people think. Because I don't. The problem is, I think if we start it like really early my time, like even then, people who are in, in like Europe. We'll, we'll basically be starting it in the late afternoon, and the entire day they'll basically be sleeping. So it's kind of, well, I guess it's Saturday, so, I mean, they can try to stay up. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, if, it, if it does start early, I'll let you know in another video, but expect it to be on the 5th of Saturday. So, uh, yeah, let's get into the update. So the main things were uh, adjustments to Nightmare. That was the last boss. So, um, so change the weapons. And, and, again, I'll have this link in the description below. Sometimes I forget. If I forget, it's... Um, it's, you know, it's always available. It's the first thing you see when you log in. It says, um, uh, topic 42229 to get there. So, yeah. Um, so made some adjustments to the nightmare. Little nightmare is no longer tradable. I keep doing that. Uh, added a, a new command, colon, colon, nightmare. Um, the nightmare and hydra will now alert you when your prayer goes off. Added a, I, I changed the room a little bit. I'll show that in a second. Um. I didn't really change it much, but I'll, I'll, still, I'll still go there and show it. And then just did some other various fixes, like the Chaos Druids are fixed, Crystal Bow, Crystal Shield are fixed, Slashing Weapons are fixed. You can now dismantle the... Uh, if you click the button correctly, you can now dismantle the orbs. Uh, uh, the Sierra Charm is now a possible reward from boat tickets. That's the only possible way to get it without donating or buying it in the in-game donator store. Uh, the Inquisitor's set effect has been slightly increased, fixed a couple issues with the dual Ironman uh, icon, and then I changed the Inquisitor Mace animation, so nothing too crazy, but some nice fixes. So the main main updates from there were the changes to the Eldritch Staff and the uh, Volatile Staff. So the Volatile Staff really isn't um, much different, it's just a lot more common that it's going to heal you. I believe it's 1 and 2. Let me open the, open the firewall. Right, so the healing one is now 1 and 2, so it's a 1 and 2 chance it'll heal you. And basically how it works is if you do higher than four damage, it will heal you one-fourth of the damage. So if you heal a four, it'll heal you one. Um, so one thing that, that you, you need to keep in mind with that is that is the actual original damage you did before boosts. Uh, so damage boosts and whatnot aren't really considered like... They're kind of weird, weird you know, weirdly done on here. They don't actually give you experience. If you when you When you hit a drop... You don't get the experience for the extra damage boost. Now it depends on a lot of like what your gear is and how many boosts you actually do have, um, but it does matter because like if you have all of the staffs have a, have a 0.15% um, damage boost, so all of them would be affected by it. Um, so let's say if you that extra 15% damage you do, you're not actually you're not healing that. So that's one thing to keep in mind. If you hit a 40, you're not actually hitting a 40. Your damage boost is boosting it up, so you're actually hitting maybe like a 30, and you're going to heal one fourth of that. Uh, we can look into it. Uh, I, I think it's good. It's going to be good as is because, I mean, it's a passive healing effect that even stacks with the normal. Like, you can use it with um, Blood Barrage and Blood Blitz and uh, have it work together. So, that, um, 
that that's definitely something to watch. I think it's good where it's at now, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, so the Eldritch Staff, what I decided to do with this one is, I it, before it just cast Vengeance. That was all it did. Um, so I, I made a custom Vengeance spell. It's a little it's a little different. Does It actually does full damage. So whenever something hits you, you actually do full damage back. Um, so we messed around with the animations in a coding stream the other day. We'll just kind of see where it's at right now. Let me uh, not use that spell. Uh, people have been asking about surge spells. Uh, they're, they're, yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a plan. It's just we have to I have to figure out. It's a cache thing. Um, I think server sided, it would all be relatively easy to do. I, I I don't I think the graphics and animations might be tricky to find, but it's definitely doable, and you should expect to see it soon. So, so that little animation right there is what is casting it. So it's set to cast one in three. That's it's a one in three times every time you hit the monster. It'll have a 1 in 3 chance of casting. So that's the effect when it's cast. Okay, so now it's cast. And now it, it doesn't give you... It's supposed to, but it doesn't. It's not working at the moment. Um, it's supposed to, like, indicate when it goes off. Uh, because, bef you know, with Vengeance, it says, Taste Vengeance. But we figured, since this thing does it 1 in 3 times, that it's going to be really, really spammy. Um... I see. That's the thing. Is like without the see right there. That that was that was it. <laughs> the five. It hit me a five, uh, and then it got reflected right back a five, and then a little poof of smoke. That's the indication that it, it triggers. So it's a little it's a little um kind of hard to see, especially when you're using spells. Um, and then sometimes I like if remember you have it has to be higher than a four. So that one didn't count, and then, but that seventeen, boom, there we go. Um, so if you guys want me to re-add the message, I could, but it's going to trigger a lot. <laughs> like, it's just going to be, the, I, I think I had it for Furoshima or something like that, Furoshima, whatever the, whatever the, like the, it's because it's called Nightmare of Ashinima or whatever. And, and Ashi, Ashihama. Oh, okay. Ashihama. There's no N in there. Ashihama. Um, so that's what I had it saying. And it was really just to like indicate that it triggered, but I did have the graphics, the visuals. So maybe that'll be good enough and it, it'll keep casting. It, it's, it's set to um, like chain, chain them. So you could theoretically have vengeance on the entire fight. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a PK video uh, versus pawn. And we're actually going to use these staffs. And I just want to see like how that like goes in PK. We tested it a little bit on the stream and it's a little wonky because sometimes the um, animations are hard to see. Like the graphics don't show up in lieu of the, um, of the ending graphics of ancients. Um, I guess I could try to, to like, maybe we can make a rule, no ending graphics. Although I think that has an ending graphic right there. My, my, my idea was going to be use fire spells, but even fire spells have an ending graphic. That little splash, not the, not the splash, but the, the poof. Yeah. That little poof right there. But yeah, it's definitely an interesting spell. Um, so this is, this is really the idea one. If we don't end up liking this idea, when we go a different route, what I'll probably do is make it so it doesn't cast as much. It's way, it's like one in ten or something like that. But then have it give you prayer back or something like that, or making it making it more use um, utility um, wise. But I like the staffs. I think they're, I think they're, you know, unique. That was something I wasn't really sure that we were going to be able to accomplish well. But I think we did a good job with them. We didn't need magic weapons. We, I, I swear, I know, I know old school. They had new magic weapons just around the corner. We were like, what are we going to do with these? There's so many magic weapons. But, um, hey, I think these ones are good. I think they're, they're good now. Give me your feedback on them. I'll probably, like I said, I'll probably do that PK video. I don't think I'll do any further testing. The healing one, um, I mean, it's going to be useful where you would want to heal. So, like, Ash's Dungeon, um, you know, any bandits, you know, anything like that where you're, where you really want to heal. And if you combine it with a Blood Barrage, then you're just, uh, wow. Okay, I don't even have, I didn't even have the P-Ring on. That's just normal luck boost. Yeah. Jar of Sand. I didn't even know Glad dropped that. All right. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you later. Uh, remember, double drops. Some coming soon. Luck of the Chow's Day. I don't, I don't know what to call it. Luck of the Chow Day, maybe. I don't know. It is coming soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.